What's up guys? Um, I'm Connor. I'm going to be doing your Devo for today. So when I'm going through life doing whatever, I'm usually asking myself one question. Do I look cool? You know, if I was like walking down the street, I would be wondering if the guy on the opposite sidewalk thought that I looked cool. Or if I was walking to class, I wonder if my classmates wonder, just think if I look cool just when I'm walking down the hallway. I think deep down, we all just kind of want to look cool. Like, have a little respect. We're all just old New York mobsters. Eh, I just, I want a little respect. I don't get no respect. Come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, and you don't give me no respect. But you know who already looked cool? The wise men. Now, if you saw them today, you might think that they looked kind of lame, but in the first century, the wise men had mad drip. These guys were swagged up, coming out of Persia with their camels, with their fancy headdresses. These guys were so rich, they could afford to just leave their homes and walk across the entire known world just because they wanted to. They were undoubtedly cool, and they commanded respect. These guys were the real deal. They commanded so much respect, that they even attracted the attention of the king. But when these super rich, super respected guys left their homes, they weren't just going on a fun stroll through the Middle East. They were going to see someone whose coming had been foretold years ago. They were going to see Jesus. They walked for days just to see the birth of the King of the Jews. And when they saw him, what did they do? They bowed down and worshipped him. These super cool guys, these royal rich people, they knelt down at the feet of a two-year-old. Jesus was no more than a baby. He may not have even been able to walk, but the wise men knelt at his feet because they knew who he was. They knew what his coming meant, and they knew that they were not worthy, no matter how cool they were. We're all just trying to look cool. Why do you think I put that lightsaber right there in the shot? Even I'm trying to look cool, almost all the time. But no matter how respected we are, Jesus is still worthy of our praise. He is the king of all. We owe all we have to him. We owe our coolness to him. We owe our respect to him. We can't do everything ourselves. We can be as cool as we want. We can have as much respect as we want. We can have as many Instagram followers as we want. But there will be times when we fail, when things don't go our way. This is when we fall on our knees at the foot of the cross and worship him. Because Jesus doesn't care how cool you are. He loves you no matter what. Thanks, guys.